Pouncer is claiming a 300% improvement for one of their clients in a leaked pitch deck to ad agencies. But the author smells trouble for Pouncer, apparently. So let's see what this is all about. We've got an article by Marketing Brew where the author claims to have gotten hold of a leaked pitch deck from Pouncer. And this is towards ad agencies as well as interviewing some of these prospective clients. I mean, they got to start out with the mandatory controversial software company, right? If you're in the middle of the media, you know this grabs the attention and their past working with the intelligence agencies. But essentially, the pitch deck that was obtained by Marketing Brew said it showed wide-ranging use cases and applications of AIP from pricing, inventory planning, pragmatic sales, as well as campaign optimization. So it sounds pretty natural to me when it comes to how to improve an ad agency and how Pouncer could actually help them. And of course, Pouncer will tout, and I think they truly believe this themselves too, that they are the leading software platform for making data-driven operations and decision-making, but the author still has to throw in their work with ICE, which you'll see later on why they keep doing this for the narrative purposes. But at least their credit going on, they get at least highlight some of their big clients like United Airlines and Tyson's Foods and many, many more from the list, which if you've been following the company closely, these are big rounds we've seen in the far past as well as in recent events like the latest AIP Con. But when trying to get a comment from Pouncer, themselves. They, of course, did not comment, which is understandable considering A, there's no reason to comment, nor is it required, and B, these are prospective clients still, so nothing signed or in the bag or even agreed upon on what they can share, plus that's just bad business to do so. Now, for what was pitched, they, of course, showed the bells and whistles with finding inefficiencies and getting insights for these ad agencies, and they, of course, have multiple use cases that are really relevant across many other industries as well, not just advertisement. But the most notable at the bottom is that they shared a result from a leading broadcast network where they helped them get a 300% increase in engagement of a target group in one campaign. Which, if this is true, that's huge considering they basically quadrupled the amount of engagement, which is what you really want as an advertisement, not just impressions showing an ad. Then, they gotta close the pitch with signing up for an AIP bootcamp because Palantir is confident. You don't have to sign the contract and give them money right away. Use it for yourself, get the experience, and even get the value. You'll come wanting back for more, for which I sure think speaks loudly for their confidence in their AIP platform. And this isn't new news. Now, this is where all those little jabs or notes go where the elephant in the room is. The author points to their controversial reputation and work with defense and is making the argument essentially that these associations will do more harm than good for the prospective customers if they were to actually work with Palantir. Now, in my personal opinion, even just working with big tech can have the same connotations with data mining and creepiness of ads, ads, ads being targeted at you so precisely. So what's the difference if they can perform even better with Palantir, who, at least for me, knowing their mission and viewing their products has security and at the center of their offerings. But basically, that's how they want to leave the readers that Palantir is a reputational risk for whoever works with them. But I'll let you be the judge of that, especially as earnings comes up and if there is any mention of demos or their work in regards to ad agencies, which I think is a natural industry for Pouncer to thrive in. But what are your thoughts though below? And I'll see you in the next video.